So a storyboard is a series of drawings that that it's meant to visualise what the director has in his mind and he can use it as a tool to um, communicate his idea to other crew members such as say the cinematographer uh, so they know exactly what he means when he says I want this frame to look like this. So is it just you following the script? Well it's not exactly while the script in Wood's form, it has many interpretation. The destroyer boy, it's narrowed down so everyone understands that it can make everyone on the same page. Um, so, for example, in the script, the writer can simply write the character jump over the fence, but it with a storyboard, then everyone will know exactly how that character jump over the fence. Maybe they jump in a very comical way, maybe they will um, jump like, in a very cartoony way, extend it all their legs up. Um, not entirely. So, both storyboard and so the animator would need to work uh, with the story, with conveying through um, the visual, most importantly, the character's action and posing. But um, they're actually quite, um, not quite independent, but they are still for quite different job. So with destroyable artist, we understand that destroyable is a guideline. Um, we come up with the character posing and acting, and that would serve as a suggestion to the animator, so they know that in this part of the story, they need to make the character do this. But with a more experienced animator, actually quite a lot of the time they will have a look at the storyboard and the script and then they can totally dismiss the storyboard and come up with the posing themselves. As long as it fits within the production timeline because animation takes a lot of time so usually they don't, they can't afford to, you know, um, test different ideas, different poses. That's why they need a guideline. Most people I know, when they, um, they think they have the talent for drawing, they usually become a fine artist or become an illustrator or an animator. But you, you chose to be a storyboard artist. Um, well, um, well, first of all, not fine art because I'm not that good with painting. But um, I find that storyboarding, it's, um, it's actually not that different from, say, uh, from the one you mentioned, it's illustrator. Well, animated, we both deal with story, so we're not, you know, just paint, say, an abstract painting for, say, not art for us. It has a lot of um, practical applications. Um, but also with storyboard, I found, I, I, just to me, it, it strikes this just right balance of technical drawing and the creativity. Um, I find, <laughs> and, and it's, um, it has much higher turnaround compared to say illustrations or um, animation where, where animator where you have to kind of stick to the same story for quite a long time with mine I can get to ex I just done the project more quickly and move on to the next one so I've got say in the same um, amount of time I might be able to experience a variety more wide, a wider variety of stories compared to the other jobs